So uh, I also saw a thing that was like that. You know, Jesus, after Malcolm, you're dying. <laughs> after Malcolm, you were trying to get into like more serious roles, and it just didn't like click. Yeah. for you. Uh, you know, it, it's funny. I've done some serious roles, and I enjoy them the most of anything I've ever done. Um, it was also more when Malcolm ended. I started. I got signed to BMW to race cars, and I said to my agency manager, "I said, go look. I, I go, this is what I want to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean." I'm not trying to just do it as a hobby. Like, I want to be the best I can be. And like anything, if you want to do something the best, you've got to put in the time, you know Mm -hmm. what I mean, in the work. You know, so I didn't think that it was humanly possible to continue acting or continue in the entertainment business while doing the racing thing. So that's one thing. Like, I'm so happy. Sorry. I'm so happy I went racing. I love every aspect of it. Now it's becoming a part of my life again. Yeah. And I think in in the biggest way it could. But... I look back and I go, did I make a mistake leaving in the height of my career? Like when I had hundreds of offers, I could have kept going nonstop. And I said, no, I don't, I don't want to. Where now I look back and not that like I, I actively am pursuing trying to be an actor, but I go, I wonder what my life would have been if I stayed. In that same sense, I look back and I go, thank goodness I left because I appreciate life in general more but yeah. I've started taking more in and mm-hmm. I look back at the success I had and I go that was really cool you know I'm happy I think I, uh, I, I, I think that you made the healthier move definitely and I, I think, don't think I ever would have been able to do that yeah I think that I'm like just so chronically like attention seeking yeah and <laughs> external validation oriented that uh, I would never be able to do that. I I feel like, and I, I don't want you or anyone to take this the wrong way, I'm so much of a happier person. Oh, I bet. Having stepped away. Not like being out of the line, none of that. Like just, I don't know, like, I, I don't know how to, it's just a weird, it's a weird I, I've never thought. been happier like in my life, like for some, living in Arizona. Like yeah. something about Arizona was like, I, I was like, Content. Well, it's, it's funny that <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that you say that because, like, when I moved here, I realized as cheesy as this sound, I started looking up for the first time, like looking the clouds, at the weather, the mountains, the, the long distance. Yeah, rather than like I don't know in L.A., I just kind of like kept my head down, like like literally kept my head down all the time. A lot of sharks in L.A. I think people people want something from you everywhere you go in L.A. Yeah. So maybe you just kind of like shrink. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I just. I feel like this is where I'm supposed to be. I was told by. Uh, I went to New Orleans when I was like 11, and got my palm read, and the the palm reader like told me all this stuff, and they go, "Do you want to know who you were in your past life?" And I was like, "Sure," and he goes, "You were a judge defending the Native Americans in the Southwest," and he goes, "That's why you're drawn to the Southwest." Mm. At the time, I'd never been west of the Mississippi River. I'm from New Jersey, you know what I mean? I was like, I don't like the Southwest. The minute I came here, I was like, this is where I'm supposed to be. You know what I mean? It's weird. So I don't fully believe in that stuff, but at the same time I go like, I think he was onto something. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Thanks for watching that clip. And if you live in America, there's a good chance that this big badass tour bus is coming to your town with my bucket list tour. What is it? Well, it's an X-rated show full of all the stuff that I would have never been allowed to do for Jackass. And a lot of it is flagrantly illegal. So, it's adults only. And if you live in any of these states, then you better go to stevo.com and check out my tour schedule. Hurry up and get your tickets too, because it's selling out everywhere. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude.